disgusting and not what she wanted. The judge sentenced her to 180 days in jail, but suspended 90 of them. Here's why. He also so this happened in Ohio. I practice criminal law in California. So let me tell you what she could be facing if this happened in California. The first charge, which is probably the likely charge, is called battery. It's penal code 242. And battery is the unlawful touching of another person. That could include throwing an item at somebody, or sometimes we see where another person spits on somebody. And as long as that touching is offensive and could be harmful, that's a battery charge. And battery can, you could face up to six months in jail. But let's say that burrito bowl was extremely hot and it was regarded as something capable of inflicting serious harm. She could be facing what's called assault with a deadly weapon. And the deadly weapon could be any item as long as it's capable of inflicting serious harm. We've seen items like beer bottles, even a pencil as a deadly weapon. That's a more serious charge. That charge, a person, it could either be a misdemeanor or a felony, and the person could get up to four years in prison. But it's not likely a DA would file a burrito bowl as a deadly weapon and ask to argue that in front of a jury. So it's likely the misdemeanor battery. So she could be facing the same kind of sentence that she faced in Ohio, in California. But that's just my thoughts. Better yet, just don't throw stuff at people even if they screw up your food. And come on, do we really expect Chipotle to get our meals done right in the first place?